Hello Aquarius and welcome to your love reading. We have the Ten of Swords. This is completion. This is letdown. This is betrayal. You have the Emperor. You have the Moon. You have the Four of Wands. There's deceit around you. You have the Hermit. You have the Magician. You have the Knight of Pentacles. You have the Page of Wands. The Justice card. You have an ending that is coming. You're ending a relationship that you are in. Yes, you are. The Knight of Wands. You have the Page of Pentacles. You're ending a relationship that you are in. Okay, this is a very committed relationship with the Four of Wands. A very committed relationship. What do we have? You're going to heal temperance. You have temperance. She brings deep healing powers. This is a very committed relationship that you are in with the Four of Wands. It could be a marriage. It could be an engagement or a common law or a very just committed relationship. But this is a very committed relationship that you are in. You have the Ten of Swords. This is disappointments. This is letdowns. This is defeat. This is collapse. This is disappointment, endings, and completions with this relationship. There's deception around you with the moon. You know this. Follow your instincts. Follow your intuition. What does your intuition tell you? You're going to be exposing deception. There is obviously deception around you. There's a lot of deception here. <clears throat> you have the hermit. The hermit wants you to withdraw yourself from contemplation and find your inner wisdom, your inner guidance, your inner clarity. And you'll have the answers that are deep within yourself. Listen to your intuition. Okay? It's important. Because you have the answers. You already know the questions or the answers to everything that's going on around you. Pay attention. Because there is no sharing, no giving or receiving. You've been shunned. It's like you're out in the cold. You're definitely out in the cold. There's no sharing, no giving, no receiving in this relationship at all. You have a lot of insecurities. You have a lot of doubts. You have a lot of fears with the Four of Pentacles. You're all about security. You want security in your relationship. You want to feel that you can be secured. You have the Justice card. The Justice card in your reading is indicating that you need to have clarity and truth. Absolutely. You need it. Behavior in a past relationship impacts on the present ones. Karma is taking responsibility for this. This is cause and effect. Karma is definitely at play in this relationship. Some of you are going to move. Some of you are getting a download of emails. You're on social networking, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. The Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands, very quick, very fast pace. You have the Page of Wands. This is moving on. This is moving in a new direction. This is refreshness. This is inspiration. It's a new beginning with full of new ideas. This is exploring with excitement and freedom, making long-term plans of where you want to go, what you need in your life. You're dealing with a, um, a pentacle, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Or one is coming in. You show up very clearly in your reading. You are the King of Swords. This is sudden change. This is using your head over your heart. This is discipline. This is truth. This is being decisive. You have a lot of knowledge. You have a lot of instincts. Listen to your instincts because they're not wrong. They are far from wrong. Let's put some clarifiers on it, shall we? Um, let's use 
the gilded tarot for clarifiers. Let's clarify why the Knight of Pentacles is here. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius, please, and thank you. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Clara, Aquarius, please, and thank you. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Yeah, okay, so you're dealing with the Pentacle. You're dealing with the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. They were very deceptive, lying, cheating, manipulating with the Four of Swords. They're in it for themselves. Unbridled ambition, winning at all costs. They don't care who they hurt or who they stomp. They're just in it for themselves. Their own self-gain, their own self-worth. They don't care about your feelings at all. Zero. But you have the magician. Why is the magician here? Can I clarify her for the magician, please? And thank you. Clarify her for the magician. You have somebody coming into your life. Let's see who it is. Because they're giving you the Ten of Pentacles. You have judgment, karma of cards. Everything you have done pertaining to karma is coming back and rewarding you for your effort. It's giving you rebirth, renewal, revival, rejuvenation. It's like you're going to be brought back from the ashes and you're going to be rejuvenated, revived, refreshed. It's a new beginning that is coming in with judgment. This person is the magician. They have all the tools to make you happy. They have everything that they need to develop, to grow, to flourish, to make things happen, to make dreams come true. They are your ideal partner soulmate. The communication and action between the two of you is going to be phenomenal. You're going to feel so confident and comfortable with this person that you're going to be like two hearts beating as one. Again, you're getting a new beginning. A new beginning is coming in. You're going to have the Ten of Pentacles with this person. Financial and family stability. It's going to be very successful. It's going to grow and flourish, flourish and thrive. You're all about truth. You're all about clarity. You want truth. You demand truth. That's why you're showing up as the emperor. You have a lot of efficiency. You like good things that are coming in your direction with the Page of Pentacles. This is ambition. This is desire. This is diligence that is coming in for you. Let's see. What else do we have? What else do we have for Aquarius? For June. So we know our relationship is ending. Yeah, absolutely. You got the Three of Swords. This is severe heartache. This is pain. This is anguish. Deep, profound grief. Loss. And this is happening all because of the person the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, that is being very deceitful around you. And you know this because you're demanding truth. You're demanding it. You already know it. You feel it. You feel the deception. Knight of Cups. This relationship is going to grow. It is going to flourish. The new beginning that you have with Judgment, and the Magician and the Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Wands, you're going to be embracing a new beginning for yourself. Again, with the Knight of Cups, this is falling in love. This is trusting your new feelings. This is moving on in a new direction. This is a love proposal. This is opportunities. This is, again, very quick, very fast. This is trusting and following your heart. And you will. And you're going to move in a new direction with this magician. And I will clarify who the magician is. Again, you have temperance. See how they work? Very beautiful, angelic, loving, with deep, deep healing powers, balance and moderation. Temperance is coming in with deep healing powers to heal and nurture your heart. Deep healing powers to heal and nurture your soul. She's also bringing in a love interest. Both of you are going to be opposites, but you're going to bring out the best to one another. You're going to go from weak to strong, from insecure to very confident. And it's all because of temperance. Beautiful. So temperance is 
making, again, you have the impress. You're very loving. You're very giving. You're full of love. When you love, you love very, very deeply. You love very deeply. You wear your heart on your sleeve. You can grow. You can develop. You can flourish. You can thrive. You can make things happen. People love you for the qualities that you possess inside and outside. Many people are drawn to you because of the qualities that you possess. The Queen of Pentacles, this is being practical. Okay, this is creative comfort and financial security. Either way, you're going to be surrounded in financial bliss. You have the Six of Cups. Someone is coming from your past that you already know. This is revived love. Reminiscing, sharing, healing, forgiving, moving on with each other, being familiar with each other. Could have been somebody that you went to school with. It could have been somebody you grew up with. It could have been somebody that you worked with. But there is somebody around you that is very much coming back into your life that wants a new beginning with you, full of romance. Six of Pentacles is going to be a lot of sharing, giving, and receiving in this relationship with each other. It's not going to be take, take, take. You have the Ten of Wands. You are tired of doing it by yourself. You have a lot of courage and a lot of determination to get her done. But you know what? You don't have to do it by yourself. Life is meant to be shared. It's You're supposed to be in a relationship where there's going to be giving, sharing, and receiving with each other. It's supposed to be split 50-50. You don't have to carry everything on your shoulders. There is this person that's coming in that's going to help carry the load with you. Carry the burdens with you. You don't have to do it all by yourself. You have the Ace of Victory. Oh, right on. This is fantastic. This is the power to achieve your goals. This is a breakthrough. Sharp mind, mental clarity. This is victory. This is strong will. This is enlightenment. Great inner strength. Great inner wisdom. Great mental clarity so you can see the situations for what they are, so you can embrace the new possibilities in your life, so you make the right decisions to bring in new opportunities. The Three of Pentacles. You're on the verge. This is great. This is fantastic. This means that you are going to embark on a new journey with this person that is coming in. You're going to embark on a journey together. You could even be moving in with each other. This is going to grow. You're going to be great at making commitments with each other. You're going to stick to your commitments. And the pack that the two of you are going to build is going to grow. It's going to flourish. You're going to make a great team. You're going to be a power duo. Page of Swords. Again, we already know this. This is gossip. This is gossip that is around you. Okay? And deception, uh, deception and manipulation. And this is from the person that you were in a relationship with. Let's find out. Let's clarify who the magician is. Who is the magician? Clarify the magician, please, for Aquarius. Who is the magician? Who is coming in for Aquarius for love? Who's coming in for Aquarius? It is a wand, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that is coming in. And it was already here with the Page of Wands. You got it twice. This is exploring. This is a new beginning. Again, time of inspiration, new ideas, making long-term plans with each other, exploring excitement, togetherness, growing, flourishing, thriving, and being very successful. So you go from all this deception, pain, sorrow, everything that you've gone through with the Knight of Wands. Again, you're moving in a new direction and you're going to have fulfillment, everything that you want, need, and desire. Okay, let's see what Angel Romance has to say. What do we have for Aquarius? Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. It is safe for you to love. Open up your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And the highest energy of all is love. I have Whispers of Love Oracle Cards as well for you. Okay. 
Have faith, trust your faith in this situation. Listen to, listen with your heart. You are listening to what is being said to you, but you need to listen with a loving heart. You have great things that are coming in. You're leaving a situation that hurts like a son of a bee, but you're moving in to a new direction that's going to lead to fulfillment, that's going to lead to happiness and success and harmony and joy. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you'd like a more in-depth reading, again, I do have a special going on. Just send me an email and I'll be happy to send you all my information. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Much love and light and many blessings to each and every one of you. I will see you all again when I do the uh, two-week readings. Much love and light. Bye for now.